Hey, this is Mike with AshTractorMike.com. I'm getting a lot of comments from people asking me what size shear bolt do I use in my brush hog or, or any other PTO powered implement. And I, I sense there's a lot of people that are shearing shear bolts prematurely. And it may be not the shear bolt or the cutter that's causing the problem, it may be the tractor. I have a tractor that engages the PTO extremely ab abruptly. When I bought the tractor, the guy that owned it before me, I asked him if there was anything he didn't like about the tractor. He said, I hate the way the PTO engages because you shear bolts all the time. You have to engage really slow. Well, I'm gonna show you today how to engage your PTO if you have that problem. If you're shearing shear pins, here's what you wanna do. All right, first we're gonna start the tractor. I'm gonna throttle up the tractor. If I engage the PTO at idle, I would probably kill the engine of my tractor or really bog it down and, and it, it, it might shear the bolt right there. I'm going to throttle it up so I'm, I'm running fast enough to get inertia to get the blades turning but not so fast I'm going to shear the bolt. Now I'm going to go to my lever here and watch how slowly I engage this lever. Now your light, on my tractor the light comes on before the PTO is actually engaged but once I feel that PTO engage and you'll feel it work in the engine of the tractor. You'll feel it. I, I do this really slowly. And when it's engaged, throw it forward and you're good to go. But we've done it slow enough that the blades have had a chance to, to catch up and not shear the shear bolt. If I just threw this thing in, I guarantee you, every time I would shear a shear bolt. Now, if you haven't had any problem shearing shear bolts, use a shear bolt that's that that's, uh, the owner's manual tells you to use. In other words, if it tells you to use a a grade two shear bolt, use that. If you don't have any problems, great. But if you get into a position where you're constantly shearing shear bolts, you talk to your local dealer and see what they think about this. But I've actually had to go up one size on shear bolts, one grade on shear bolts. The little grade two bolt I originally had, I couldn't keep them in to save me. But the grade I have in now, which is the next grade up, it's a it's a it's an ISO grade I think it's 8.8 .8 or 8.3, uh, seems to work fine, and I've still got protection for my PTO. So you may want to go up one grade if you're constantly shearing shear bolts. You really don't have much of a choice, and hopefully the higher up grade will still give you protection if you hit a stump or something, it doesn't move, and it'll still shear. Hey, I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. And if you have questions, put them below. I'll try to answer them. Hey, thanks for watching.